we're the local nonprofit for Summit County that um, we just educate and encourage people to use less resources. Um, and we also support conservation efforts, um, recycling, composting, energy efficiency, and now sustainable food in Summit County. This time of year, there's a lot of waste, um, especially holidays or the winter season or you name it. Um, there's a lot of ways that um, you can collect certain things for recycling, mixed metals, plastics. We take one and two plastic bottles, and then we also take number one clamshells. So your little tubs that you get from berries and fruits, we also take those now. And then um, glass, we take mixed glass, and then we also take um, paper, mixed paper. The best way, um, really, you just need to collect those in a bin. You can collect them all in one bin if you have waste management or Timberline or another service. They take single sorts, so they take everything in one bin. Or you can take them to our drop-off centers, which are in Frisco, Dillon, or Breckenridge. The Frisco and the Breckenridge and the Dillon Recycling Center um, is actually a program of the Summit County government, and they come and pick it up, and they haul it all the way to the MRF, which is a material recycling facility at the landfill. They also call it the Summit County Resource Allocation Park because we're trying to um, really recycle what we can, and um, it's all about res resources, conserving resources. Um, so it goes there, and they drop it on a floor, and then they bail it. They put it through a machine that makes it into big squares, and then they ship them all over the United States um, to be made into something new. So recycling is something that we try to do first, and then whatever's not recyclable, um, your food waste and your paper waste, we compost it. And composting is a totally different process because you're actually creating dirt out of it. You're not creating, um, you are kind of creating a new product, but a different product. <laughs> we use dirt a little differently. And compost uses microorganisms, or bugs, I like to say, and they break everything down into soil. So you're feeding those bugs, they're like your pets. And you can do it on a small scale or a large scale. And um, small scale can be as easy as collecting something like in a kitchen crock or um, a bucket in your house. And you can have your backyard compost bin and um, some worms, um, which is worm composting. You have a thousand worms and they eat the food for you and then they create um, the soil. So that's one way to do it. Or you can do it in a large scale compost facility, which we have at the county, and that's um, a really awesome process. They use windrows, which are really long um, piles, and they pretty much add um, pine beetle bark, which is just shredded, and then they do 50% of that and 50% food waste, um, and then they throw them together and pre pretty much create this big mound, and they inject it with those bugs, and they go to town. They heat up even in the wintertime, you'll see steam. Um, any time during the year because it's hot, so about 150 degrees. So they break down way faster and then they um, have the most beautiful, um, great soil that you can use to grow your plants in or to grow food. The county also sells the soil that they create and it's really to sustain the system or the program. Um, we have community gardens all throughout Summit County so I can actually verify the soil is awesome. There's a lot of things you can do with that compost and um, it's really affordable. It's less than $20 a cubic yard. We have a lot of great gifts from HC3 hoodies to water bottles to bags and all that money goes to support us and we can continue to um, live that mission of um, really supporting our community and trying to get everybody to compost. <laughs>